Well guys, look of the week. Uh, this week I'm going to be doing basically what everyone's been asking me to do. So I'm going to do a Zach Wild week. Uh, do, I'll do his traditional solo uh, with all his pentatonics, weird scales and all that kind of stuff. Uh, got it all off the um, Budokan kind of solo. So um, I'll show you through the slow. I'm going to be in half a step down. I've got my overdrive and my warp pedal. Um, and that's about it. So uh, I'll show you it now fast and then I'll go through all slow. Show all the ins and outs of it. So. Um, Hopefully I can do Zach Wild Billy Justice to do it as best I can. So here it goes. So, <laughs> that's the sort of best song I'm going to uh, smash it out, so that's my kind of way of putting it across, uh, hopefully it sounds sort of the same, so what I'm doing is, I've got my wall pedal, and what other people seem to forget is like, the way Zach Wild uses wall pedal, so um, I'll do another video and I'll show you how I'm doing it kind of thing on the, on the wall pedal, so basically what I'm doing is when I switch it on, what I'm about to the wall pedal sort of got that kind of massive push. It's sort of like a normal wall pedal, which has got that and then um, the circuitry, which really got that kind of like it gives you a bit more power. So when you knock it, knock it down, sort of like gets you gets your notes and goes and properly brings it up, kind of steps. So if I do it. And that's how Zach Wall gets his kind of wild pedal kind of sound. You just really, when you're about to get that knot up, you bring the pedal down, so it's like that. So it's when you're about to do it, so it's like. <laughs> So that's how he uses the wah pedal. So basically I'm on, I'm on A. And it starts off, so it's like, you get the wah pedal and you go. So about, so I'm in 15 frets on the B. Bring up two frets. So like Zach Wall does, gets his first finger and like rests it. So as well as, there's nothing playing there. Use the palm of your hand as well. Bring down the strings. Um, bring that up. Use your second finger as sort of like an help. Bring it up. And then what you do there is like you go like this. So I'll go 12th fret on the E. And then I go to the 15th fret on the B, 12th fret on the B, and then I will bend, bend it up without playing it, and then and then hit it while it's two frets up, and then bring it down. So it goes. So it's sort of like that. Um. That kind of thing. So after that, then I bring it onto the uh, the rhythm pickup, and I'm doing the famous kind of Zach Wild thing. That kind of thing. So <coughs> what I'm doing there is um, 
the picking that. So basically what I'm doing is you can either start on the B and then make your way down to the, the 12th fret on the A so it goes. So it's not a lot like start it off, get faster. And then move on to the A string. You can do that, or you can just go on to the A. There's loads of ways of doing it. I mean, I, I've seen Zach Wild just like many times. He just starts on the B. So basically, I'm on the 15th fret on the B, and then I start to pick it, get a bit faster, and then I moved, and then I moved down to that 12th fret on the A. So it's like. I wouldn't start. I wouldn't start doing it with loads of gains. So, so when you're first trying to play it, I'll just play it and clean first. And I'm moving on to E. And then what I do there is I go to the uh, 17th fret, and then I go to 15th fret, 12th fret. And then I go to the B, 15 and 12. And then what I do is I move that up the string. So basically, what I'm playing here, I move to the B. So it's like. So I'm on the 17. So you can see what I'm doing there. And then I'm moving up again, but back what I'm playing here. Is that? This is our blues. Um, so I'm on the 15th fret. So basically, what I'm doing there is 15, 14, 12 on the on the G string, and then I go to the uh, 14th and 12th fret on the D. What I'm doing there is I go, so I do that. So what I'm doing there, you see, I'll, I'll start off and go up to that G, and then I'll make my way down again. And then I make my way down again. And then when I get back to that E again, I move it up a fret. What I do there is um, after I've got so far, so about when I get to about basically, I get to the um, I get to the basically this is what it is. It goes like. This. Well, that's kind of like a weird thing, um, like chromatic kind of thing. So basically, with my third finger, I go to the uh, 17th fret on the on the E, 
my second finger and goes to the 16th fret on the B. So it's like a Randy Rouse kind of thing. So basically what I'm doing here is I go my G string I go to the fifth, the fourth, the fifteenth fret. So it goes this. What I like to do there is I use my my second my little finger and I go pick that A string, go upwards, and then pick downwards on the J. So it's like this. Or just pick it. That's just what I'm doing there. But what I do is after I finish the So all them notes there, I eat them all and then bring it up. And then bring it down. And then I start on the G and then get to the A. So it goes. Bass I got. Go down two frets, sound again, and then bring it up a fret, and then down two frets, back up one fret, back down a fret, and then I go upwards it. So basically what I'm doing there is I go. And then I go B. Uh, 14th fret, G, 13th fret, and then D, 12th fret, and then I go G, 14th fret, uh, D, 15th, uh, 13th fret, and then I, 12th fret, and then D. So you get, get all the picture kind of thing. So you, just, you bring it up, and then, then you bring it back down. But what Zach Wall does is like this. So you see what my fingers do, my, my uh, picking hands doing. So it's like sweeping it. So it's like you know. It's basically what I'm doing there is I go. So I just follow my. So I follow my pick down, but like I come back up so it goes. So I wait. So when I go to the D. That day again into the next one. So it's like, look, it's the eye, sorry. So I'll show you what it is. So 12th fret at A, 13th fret I, and then 12th fret D, I mean 14th fret D. And then you go to I, 13th fret, 14th fret D, 15th fret J. So it goes. And then you go to uh, 13th fret. I mean 14th fret on the D, 15th fret on the G, 16th fret on the B, and then, then you go back to that, that same now from earlier. So uh, 15, 16, 17. So what I'll do now is this. I see a Sam again, I bring it up. So I bring it up, bring it back down, but when I bring it with that back down I go like this. So basically that's kinda of like a blues kind of thing. Um, um so I go to the E string and I go to 15, 16, and then 19. So I go pick it up. So I mean you can go up. You can go 
giga one up if you want to. But it just gets to 19, so it's like 15, 16, 19. Back again. And then put arm and pull off. And then you go to that um, 17 on the B. Back to that 15 on the A. Back to the 17. And then you, you bar the 17 foot between the E and the B. E and B. Back to that 15 fret on the E again. 16 fret on the E. So it goes. So back to 17. Back to the uh, B15. Back to 17 on the B. And then 15 on the B. And then 16 on the G. Back to the uh, 17 on the B. Pull off there, 15, 17. So play it slow. And so after that, so it goes 17, 16 on the G. So when you go back to that 15 on the B, you get to back to the G again on the 16 and then you slide it down. Bishy Blackmore kind of thing. So I'll slide it down, pull off to the twelfth, and then hit that D again on the on the fourteenth. Uh, Bar it, so G and B on the D again. And then what I do is I go to the thirteenth fret and then bring it down. One like half a step, cut on one one fret. And then I go to the fourteenth uh, fret on the on the B and bring it up half half string. Basically what I'll do there is to go So about when I get to there I usually pick it about three times So you can basically get 12 to 14 So instead of going you can like hit the 12th and then hammer on the 13th and then you get to that 14th fret on the B and then bring it up half a step alright so after that I'll, get, I'll do this Basically, that's kind of like a weird grammatic kind of thing. So, uh, I ain't big on fucking telling you what scales are, what where they are, and what kind of player they are. I mean, if you if you go on like a Don Ragdale interview, he says, "There's ain't no scale kings, there's no pentatonic, and that's about it." He says, "I know what sounds right, so that's about what I'm at." So, I'll tell you what sounds right. So, basically, where I'm at is a uh, ninth fret on the low E string, twelfth fret, and then fifteenth fret. So it's a big stretch. Because so basically what I'm playing there is I bring it down to each one so it's
But see where this finger is here. I'm supposed to like making sure that I ain't gonna fucking do this, do this, do this, and move them in and out, in and out, kind of thing. So I'm going. So I ain't actually doing much with this finger. I'm just. So I'm doing two on each one, so when I start off... And then I go back to that B again. Twice. And then back to the E twice. So when I get to the bottom... So when I get to the bottom... And then I go back to the B, back to the E, back to the B, and back to the E again. And then after that, I move it up a fret. So I base it on playing 10, 13, 16. And then do whatever you want to do after there. I mean, you could just go. Or like So basically what I'm playing there is um, 14 on the B and then 15 on the E. So, so if I'm going into that, what I was doing just. That kind of thing, I mean, you could just go into that and then go into this. I mean, that's just like classes that quad. So, basically, what I'm doing there is a bar, my picking finger. So, I usually use my, my middle finger, put it to the 12th fret, and then come up here, maybe the 17th. And just start bring it down, so so just follow your hand down. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm like this finger, middle finger, bar it on the 12th fret, get your picking hand, and then like tap it, hammer and pull off. So um, that's it all together. I mean, I mean you could just use that in some solos. What I've teached you, so something like that. So if you split that down, it goes basically like this. So like your pentonic, just play that. And then add that that 14 fret on the on the E as well. And then Just follow it up the up the the, um, the boxes kind of thing. So basically. That 
kind of thing. I mean, you just listen to Bullock and it's all there. I mean, that, all it is, is um, when I was playing like the blue stuff in my other lick of the week. It's basically that. So basically, what I'm playing there is I'm on the E and I got 5 3. 3 on the B as well, so it's like... So that's basically what I'm doing. Um, just bring it up each fret. And then when you listen to Bodikin, it goes into that, or the Van Island kind of thing. So you just bring it down. that kind of thing so it's all there um, so basically just take it all slow first play it all clean that's the best thing to do and then I mean when you can add that all to your solo I'll just split it down I mean even the parts where it goes like this if you split it down I mean all it is is blues you know what I mean And then just put it in the middle of it so it's like I mean here when I'm doing this don't put your middle finger in does that I mean you can follow it down that kind of gust G kind of thing where it's like this like, uh, with all that I mean, in my, in my last um, original I did, it was something like this. I mean, that's all there, you know what I mean? It's just inspiration of different guitarists. All that kind of stuff. So, I mean, you can add it all together. things you can do with it so um that's my lick of the week i hope you enjoyed it um and i'll see you next week with another one and that's me dog go mad so